Hey guys, we're at Walmart right now. I'm going to record a TikTok in here, so I probably won't record too much for the vlog, but I'm just picking up some boxes that I'm gonna ship shoes in that I sold on StockX and Goat. So I'll see you guys back at the house. I'm gonna show you guys how I fulfill orders and then also what sold for me over these last couple of days. All right, so here we are. You can get these boxes at Home Depot or Walmart. Home Depot is 98 cents, Walmart is 72 cents. So this is what we're looking for. And these are the, the dimensions, 14, 14, 12. And it's important that you don't get these. I mean, it's not super important, but it's kind of important because these are extra strength. So these are gonna cost 164. And always look on the box because they put them in the wrong place all the time. But we're gonna load up on these for 72 cents and these will get the job done. All right, so the TikTok is looking pretty good. Uh, my iPhone is really struggling to pick up the audio, me talking, so I hope you guys can hear this. Is I'm gonna take the pile of boxes I got at Walmart and I'm gonna build them, obviously with one end open, and I'm gonna build like a row all the way down this little hallway right here. And uh, I'm gonna match with the shoes with the shoe box and the label in each built Walmart box. And then I'm gonna check the bottoms, make sure they're clean. Some of them will be dirty, especially at Adidas. People like to try Adidas shoes on and run around in the store with them. So I'll clean the bottoms of those so that they pass the inspection when they get to GOAT or StockX. And then I will close the boxes, tape the top, tape the label on, and then all I have to do is take them to UPS tomorrow morning. All right, so I have matched every label with every shoe and made sure the bottoms of every shoe are perfectly clean. That way GOAT accepts each of them and doesn't reject the order. So this is what it looks like. The next step is gonna be just to tape these boxes shut and take them to UPS. Now there is more efficient ways of doing this, especially when you scale up. For me, going to UPS is just kind of on my way to the outlets anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I definitely am going to switch eventually, but one technique that a lot of other resellers use, especially the ones that are moving like over 10 shoes a day, is they will ship with USPS, so not UPS, but the Postal Service, and you can uh, change it on the GOAT app in the settings. Um, I think you, I would assume you could do this with StockX as well, but they will have uh, the USPS mailman come to their house and pick up the boxes. So you can either like store the boxes somewhere safe, like on, I've seen people use like a storage shed on the side of their house and they give the mailman the combination to get into that. Or you can just, if you're home that day, you can have him come and then help him load up the car. Um, but that's another way to do it where you don't have to actually go to the like UPS every day. So it takes a step out of it, makes you more efficient. So when you calculate how much work you're doing per how much dollar you make, you make more. But starting out, uh, dropping off one or two items every now and then uh, isn't too difficult. So this is how I ship. Now, a huge reason that I switched from clothing and basically anything I could find to flip to just shoes and specializing in shoes is because it made this process so much easier. Like, as you can see, I mean, I put it all in a row and every item that I ship is the exact same process. So it's not like, oh, I have this giant Monopoly board. I have these uh, shorts and these socks and this uh, jacket where they all weigh different amounts and they're all different dimensions. No, I just print the label. It is actually like um, GOAT and StockX have relationships with the Postal Service and UPS where they have like a business account where they just print the label and then they pay however much it weighs in at. So I don't have to weigh anything. It doesn't matter the dimensions in my box. If I was personally shipping these, I would make the boxes much smaller so I don't have to modify them or anything like that. So it's just uh, super simple. Um, and like I said, it can get even more simpler if you have the postal service mailman come to your house and pick up. But for me, it's just about finding ways to become more efficient and that's kind of why I've specialized in shoes. So I hope this video helped you guys. It gave you guys an inside look on how I fulfill orders when they sell. For a lot of people, I know one of the big fears in flipping things is they're not familiar with shipping items. After you sell a few items and get that experience of shipping one or two things, it's really not that complicated. You become an expert through experience really quickly. Um, but if you have any questions after watching this video, just comment them in the comment section and I'll be sure to respond to all of them.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.